I'm freezing, freezing cold. Um, I've got a headache. I've got unbelievably bad chafing. I can hardly walk, let alone run. He's got to be doing the Thames path, hasn't he? He's got to be. Welcome to Film My Run, my name's Stephen Cousins. We are on the banks of the River Thames in London, in Richmond to be precise, for the Thames Path 100. It's another Centurion event, you know I've done many of the Centurion events before, but I've never done this one, and I've never done a flat 100 miler, and I'm a bit nervous about it to be honest, give me hills any day of the week. We're travelling from here in Richmond, out of London, uh, past Windsor, Windsor Castle and Runnymede as well and through Reading and then all the way to Oxford and hopefully we'll be in Oxford sometime tomorrow morning so let's see how we go Twelve kilometres done, and uh, we're just passing Hampton Court Palace. Ten miles into the uh, Thames Path 100. One hour, fifty-one minutes. to not go off too fast. Over 20 miles in now, 3 hours 55 minutes, and we're not far from the next aid station. This is Staines. So, second aid station, just under 36 kilometers. Chocolate, I've got grapes, I've got some sandwiches. I'm gonna walk out in the next five minutes. Thank you very much guys. See you later. We are at 45 kilometres in Windsor, uh, 5 hours, 27, 28 minutes. 
There's Windsor Castle over there, look. But it is raining. So What's your name? Stuart. Stuart. And so this is your second attempt. Second attempt at this race, second attempt. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely day, not too hot, gorgeous scenery, flat as a pancake. Uh, 49 and a bit kilometers at six hours, just under six hours. <laughs> Six hours, 54 minutes, 56 and a half kilometers. And this bridge was designed by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. So we're in Maidenhead now. Look, Derrick Road. <laughs> Derrick, Derrick Road, brilliant. I'm very sorry if you live in Derrick Road. Here we are in Cookham at around 38 miles, 7 hours 37 minutes. This church here is the 11th century Holy Trinity Church at Cookham. We're about 40 miles in now, I'm feeling tired now. I've been trying to keep up this, um, I've been trying to keep up this five miles an hour pace. And uh, I've managed to right till now, but it's starting to hurt now. It's been raining quite hard. Eight and a half hours, 69 kilometers. Eliz the Elizabeth Hurley aid station. <laughs> <laughs> Not far from Henley. Henley. Hurley, Henley, Marlow, I don't know where we are. Maidenhead. Yeah, that'll do. So this is Henley, 50 miles to go. So the last time I was here, it was about three or four years ago, I did the Thames Trot, which goes from Oxford to Henley's 50 miles, finishes just there. Cheers. Hello there. Hello. How are you? Okay, how are you? Um, yeah, I'm starting to suffer now. darker now. 91 kilometers done in 11 hours and 12 minutes. This is This is Reading Aid Station and it's now um, 12 hours, just under 12 hours since we started the race. Um, Reading is 58 miles. We've got the lovely Zoe here look, looking after us. 
But I'm going to stay here a while because I'm now... No, he's not. ...shattered. Not, not he's ages. He's going to stay here a while. Not ages, oh, just... Oh, just now, very shortly. Can't win, can I? I just want a bit of a rest and I'm getting kicked no. out. <laughs> Uh, Reading Aid Station on uh, the Thames Path 100 uh, to film my run. I'm not Steve Cousins. Um, he's over there resting and getting some food. Um, lovely Aid Station. It's a very, very flat course. Very flat. Um, I'm crying out some hills. It's horrible. Climbing up the hill now. 105 kilometres in. Slowed to a real crawl. So tired. Um, Thames Path has beaten us this time, I think. So uh, Daniel and I are still suffering. We left the last aid station nine miles ago with dicky tummies and just feeling like crap, really. And looking like crap. And it hasn't really... We've had periods where we've run a bit and it's been okay, but then we kind of started to feel bad again. So we're both going through the same thing, really. So it's good to stick together. So this is Streetly Aid Station at 29 miles to go. We've got to be a bit quiet because there's somebody who lives upstairs apparently. I would rather, I would rather have hills and 150 miles than flat 100. This is killing me. I am at uh, Wallingford. Wallingford at 70, seven and a half. 77 and a half miles. We've got seven and a half miles to go to the next aid station. Then it's five miles and five miles. And five miles. 19 hours and 15 minutes. I think that's me done. I think when we get to the next aid station, I have to call it a day. Only 15 miles to go, but I can hardly walk, let alone run. I've got unbelievably bad chafing. Um, I've got a headache. I'm freezing, freezing cold. Um, and it's just not gone my way today. My decision is in two kilometers that I'm going to DNF the Thames Path 100. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got too high But I Sweep of us that takes everybody back who's DNF'd, takes people on the way and takes them back to the end. I've had taken this once before in a previous race, so I do know what it's like. But I still miss the way, the way you used to feel. Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got too high. Yeah.
So that's it from a DNF at the Thames Path 100. Wasn't planned, I promise you. But these things happen. It's only running, isn't it? It's only running. And we'll be back again to do it one day, I guess. So Richard, of course he finished. Well, it's about time, isn't it? <laughs> 18, oh 15, 32 in 15th place for Richard. So well done to Richard. Ian Hammett won it. And Debbie Martin Corsani came first for the ladies. So well done to everyone. Take care. See you again for another film I run. Bye -zy bye. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time. Did what we could, my friend, but now we're at the end. 